Hello everyone. Hope you're well. Um, as you well know, things are all a bit crazy right now. So I'm going to combat that by playing some Blood Bowl. <laughs> Time for some human gang action. Human gang! Um, let me just make sure that everything is... Ah, uh, yes, I need to remove some cash from my team. So let's put some cheerleaders on. Yes. 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 Okay, so I'm just about ready to go. I'm going to ping my opponent and just make sure that he is ready to go. And we are going to take it from there, I guess. Um, it is what it is. Um, I have played Monte Blitz a couple of times against this team. Uh, I think he beat me last season, or it was close last season, my better draw. Um, his team are quite scary. My team are broken, <laughs> as usual, being my human gang, who constantly get broken. But, um, yes. Should be fun and games and other such things. If you are Should watching be. today, please do let me know and um, drop me a message and a follow if you are so inclined. Um, and I hope that you're all well. I hope that you're all doing relatively well too. And that um, you and your family are all safe and okay and not going stir crazy if you're locked up in isolation. Um, I know that many people have been going through some quite difficult things with this one. Um, okay, um, he might be off for a second. I am running a bit late today as um, I would love to say that I was doing something, you know, really super interesting or maverick or what have you, but I was actually having a nap <laughs> and got up a bit late. Um, let's take a look at his team while we wait for him to be ready. Um, so we have a little Ripper, we have a little Binkhorn, who are the blockable centaurs. We have one Chaos Dwarf, who already has Piling On, and the other who has Mighty Blow, three with Guard. Um, so they're not hugely over-leveled. He is going to be playing with a bit more um, inducements than I am. Um, special Fred the Hobgoblin, the Green Goblin, and Green is the Bogey, and the Green Machine. Um, we've seen these guys before. I think... I'm in with a shout here as my team, uh, somewhat more experienced and have somewhat more levels. So we have our lovely borked broken boys. Um, could do with some more guard here, really. Could do with some guard here as well. But he's probably going to get piling on, in fairness, if he survives. Which is not a given. Grod is still slower than he should be. Hands are still niggled. Darkbot is still a ridiculous ogre with his whole block shenanigans going on, although his maiming of things has slowed down somewhat in recent weeks. Um, Gorman Paperspine is the fourth player in that slot, I think, after the previous three died. Arnulf still hangs on in there, um, although I did at one point, for some reason, because I was just being very cavalier, apo him because I was like, I don't want to lose Arnulf. But he, he may well not survive this season, especially given the team I'm playing next. But more on that when we get there. Um, let's ping him another invite. Um, as always, if you are watching along, do drop me a message just to let me know that you can hear everything fine. Um, if you can't, then we may have a problem, and I will have to modify my settings, of course. Um, there we go. Other games will be... Uh, yeah, 180k. Other games will be played in the next couple of days, so I am playing your on Sunday, and I think I have my upstarts game probably on Sunday too, but maybe Monday. 
I'm actually on a week off of work next week. Not being self-isolating, it's just because of the industry that I work in, we are essentially running at 1% of what we were working last year. Um, so we are not working. <laughs> Um. Mm, 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 mm. We are on our way in. Hopefully, he's all right in terms of deciding things. This is taking a while. I, it's a bit of a big decision. I'm expecting to see a wizard, if I'm honest, because that seems to be the way that most people go when they have this much inducements to play with. Um, but oh no, he's gone for the bribe. So that's um, what I would have gone for. Bribe and a babe is what I would go for over a wizard, because I think it's actually more of a game winner. Um, wizards are a bit gimmicky, and uh, the last time I used a wizard, it was a lightning bolt, and it did nothing. So that um, is a thing that happens as well. Bribes cannot work, of course, but um, I think I trust them more. All right. Ooh. There they are, my fine broken laddies. I'm going to go on the offense to start with. Um, normally would go defense, but um, I kind of want to try and chomp some of his team up, given that he has the babe and uh, the bribe. So if I can remove a couple of his players, it negates his desire to foul quite so much. Now he worries me somewhat, he worries me somewhat, he also worries me somewhat. Um, but that is my biggest threat, I think, with Little Mr. T. So it may well be that I will take this opportunity to just gank Little Mr. T as quickly and efficiently as possible. Um, depending on where he puts him. I'm hoping he keeps him in the line there, to be honest. If he does, I'm going to smack him. Right up in the face. Hoppos get. Yeah, okay, he's pulling everything back into Ruler 5, which is sensible because when it was on the line like that, being ridiculously excessive. I'm thinking that actually you probably should put him in the middle, but whatever, that's alright, I can live with that. This nice and slow, and we are going to try and just grind our way forward a bit and not overreact. Okay. Now he does have kick, so that's going to allow him to place the ball somewhat. I do not have kick off return. Quite a good kick, actually. I'm quite happy with that. Um, Kaspar is sitting on the side there, waiting to come on. Uh, all right. Let's do the grind forward. Nero there, that's fine. Dun, 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 dun. 
Crunch my wall of spam forward. Uh, you want me to scream here. You're going to scream here. Screen here. I'll whip you over here. Whip you in here. All right. Slow and steady wins the race. Hopefully, we can get some armor breaks. As I say, we are coming to the end of, well, I don't say, but um, we are coming to the end of the, the Rebel season. Um, uh, this is about midway through the TRBBL season. Um, CFC has just wrapped its first season. We will be doing some things with second season, I would think. I have a couple of games left in upstarts. Um, I don't really know when what is going to happen after that. I will probably be heading to Majors with the Soul Touchers, unless something very wacky happens in... Um, the final games of the season plus the postseason, um, and uh, hopefully doing better than I have this season. Um, obviously, everything is kind of going to depend on what's happening in real life as to whether that's going to be possible or not, um, as my job is somewhat precarious at the moment. But we live in hope. Here come the chorfs. The chorfs of doom. Where did this spicy boy end up? Mr. T, a worrisome creature. Okay, so he's columning up as we speak. Ow. Jekyll is down. We got stun on little cow mustard.
Okay. I can see him coming in to base up these guys at the back here. Interesting. Now, as long as Dugbert can continue to uh, do his job, I feel relatively confident, um, and as long as I can avoid getting too mangled, but um, that's something I'm a little less confident on. Okay, so he's running back, little chief bareback. I think the obvious target here is Mannheim. Drops him. He'll be straight back up again. Okay, here comes the Blitz. Gets it. Might be going for a hit on Doug, but now. Paper spine actually surviving for once. Yeah, goes for the hit on Doug, but this time. Oh, nasty. Steps in. I think he's going to take the hit. Aha. That's certainly interesting. Skulls it. Just a push. I'm fine with you pushing me sideways there, mate. Stand you up. Bouncy, bouncy. Right, so I probably have to clear him off, really, don't I? That's fine. Jobs are good in. Do not like taking one dies. But it can't really be helped sometimes. Alright. an 
empty square. I kind of don't want to do that. Let's tighten things up a bit. Okay, so we're playing a bit of a cagey game here, um, in a literal sense. There's got a couple of free players here, but not many. Um, and this hobgoblin is not in the greatest of places. If I can remove Lil Cardinal Colonel Mustard from where he's standing, um, break tackle means that I can, in theory, reposition Dugbert, but I would be reluctant to do so because of the possibility of bonehead. But we will see. Right, he moves in on the ball. I was expecting him to do that. Doesn't step in. Could be trying to set up for a blitz on the ball carrier here, to be fair. Move him out of the way and then throw the hit with Lil Bighorn, which could be messy. Gets clobbered again, but stays on his feet. But stays on the pitch. Right, here we go. Here goes the blitz. Just a push. He'll follow this, I think. Yep. Yeah. That suits my purposes just fine. Push there as well, squeezes me back in. Out comes the hobo. And we've got a misclick there. Let's see if we can. Yeah. Okay, so. What we want to do here is be very cheeky. Do something slightly insane here. to do 
still no armor breaks, unfortunately. Just a bouncy bouncy. That's fine. End of the turn. Not particularly happy with that one. The push play didn't quite work how I wanted it to. Um, Obviously, I've not quite woken up from my nap just yet, but let's um, we'll see what we can do. This is where it might get a little messy. Not in the lion or sense. Right. <coughs> Debates whether to re roll it. Ops not to. Okay, pushes the short onto the ball. Gets his man, so Arnold is down, which means I definitely need to move this next turn. Shoves him off. I think he's trying to orchestrate a foul here, maybe. He's just trying to stop me from whipping out to the side. Either way is good for him. Okay, here we go. That was smart. Paper spine goes down. And we'll be getting straight back up again. Da -da 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 -da. biggest issue here is that I don't really have any way of covering these bases because of my lack of ability. 
likely to dodge here. So I'm going to have to do this, which does come off, so that's all right. All right. Now this could get very messy, this turn if the dice don't go my way, or even if they kind of do, um, but we'll see. <clears throat> I was hoping to sucker him into making the blitz there, but alas. Yeah, I was expecting that one to come in, for sure. Oh, that was interesting. I think maybe he's going to try and get tackled onto the ball. Just a push. Another push. Hasn't blitzed yet. I'm not really sure where you blitz here. And you take the hit down here. Oop. Pops off the block. Oof, that was nasty. Stand firm. So that somewhat limits our options. I was hoping he would stay up so I could run him down next turn, but that's not going to happen this time. Here comes the blitz. Gets it. That's unfortunate. All right. So I've got three turns in which to get up from here. Um, hmm. Kind of had 
to take that one die. I need to free up some players for this one, so I can't really see how to do that with what I've got available at the moment. I'm sure of moving the ball carrier to here and blocking that way. And that's using a unleveled lino to do so. Let's try this. Take a red die here. Gets the pal. Okay, two turns left to get something free and get something out of this half. He's doing a pretty decent job of squishing me though. Drop into okay. I'm probably hoping to scatter out, scatter out this way then. Catches it. I tried to pop the ball carrier out there. I guess when you're going base by two players anyway, it's not really that big a deal. Hit here. Not Al Hobolino. I don't know. Not really much option for clearing the decks here. Takes the reroll, okay. I guess you've got them, so you might as well use them.
jelikož. He's clearing a path for himself here. That's interesting. So 50-50, he gets it, okay. All right, let's look at this properly. So, push him, him, out there. So stand up. I'm going to be red dicing. That was terrible. That's what happens when it's not a player who's supposed to pass, he's passing the ball, I guess. Okay, so we're probably not scoring this turn. Plan then was to blitz through this heap of hobgoblin and run away. But um, alas, I had to burn the re-roll on the loner roll and it didn't come off. At least I think this makes it so unlikely that he scores anyway, but um, we will see. That's probably it. Okay, so he's going to scout the ball. No, he's not. He's pushing him the other way. Gotcha. Might be where we try the ridiculous desperation maneuver. But yeah, so he's got a GFI to get there. So if he goes down this turn, then that's that. Put paid to, unfortunately. Block, block, that's good. Yeah, that one made sense. Didn't quite come off though. Shows him back.
Ow. Corbin goes down. So we're not recovering this ball now. Oop, gets him. That's it. No score for me. Even if I could somehow orchestrate some sort of wacky one there. have killed a chorf. That's a nasty one. Is there a zappo on him? He's just injured. That means he's off the field anyway. Fractured get fractured leggy. Okay. That was pretty brutal. Um so I think for this We have to stand you up. <coughs> That's going to be a one die, isn't it? Everything is going to be a one die at this point, really, so... It's really just a case of um, taking the one dies we have. I think I prefer that one die, to be honest. It should be skull, so we'll just re-roll it. No, nope. into a double skull. So that is effectively just giving him a turn of punching and me hoping that my lads survive. And then we go into the second half and we defend. taking hits from the Bull Centaurs because they don't have Mighty Blow unlike some of his players. So um, I feel more confident of them surviving it. Um, to take. I would have thought Klaus will get hit as well after that. Um, he can't score, so I suppose he can try a vanity pass. Yeah, we're going to see a hit on Light Motif as well. At least he's down, so he can't get ganked. Oh, here comes the foul. Finally using the bribe. Uh, ow. <laughs> well, that 
comprehensively uh, dropped him. I think he might pile that one on as well. I will allow that one. My cold consideration there means that he will actually avoid the game against the Chaos team, who would who it's claw and stuff and horrible and therefore is more likely to survive um, and I can basically just replace him with a lineman I guess um, and hope that that means that um, some of that strength deficit is reduced because linemen are strength 3 oh it's done, that's fine not actually getting pitch cleared here that's nice just uh, that one hit on the left hand side to worry about I guess and then the foul um, this is uh, TRBBL Troy which is a different league entirely it's not uh, rebel affiliated um, this is my human team this is the first league that I played in um, with my first team that I played competitively in um, I have been expecting this team to die horribly for over a season now and they've somehow managed to come through despite being horribly battered up um, but uh, yeah as you can see my players are uh, starting to get a bit thin on the ground <laughs> and this was my attacking drive so uh, we are in something of a um, sticky situation <laughs> Sneaky Hobgoblin foul. KO's him. Hopefully we get at least half of those guys back. Um, but I kind of weathered the storm there a little bit, so I'm alright with that. I would rather have KO's than full-on injuries of doom, and we've just got one MNG player. Um, I may well lose this. If I do lose that, I'm fine, because I think he beat me last time. It's some scary stuff. Alright. Gonna go for a vanity pass, I guess. Or not. Wait, has he actually moved him? I don't think it has. Can he score? But he can't now. He can't score anyway, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Sticky ball. Okay, two of them get up, and it's linemen. That's not so useful, but that's fine. All right. Um, I'm now playing with two throwers, so that's interesting. <laughs> so. I being poor and lacking blitzes, I just have to eat it, unfortunately. Uh, it is a free to join league, so um, if you want, I can send you over a uh, link to it. Um, it's actually fairly large, um, and I will pop you over a link in um, after the game, Troy. Just uh, remind me on in minus chat, and I'll spam you out. I did send uh, a hubster one as well, but I don't think he took it up. It's somewhat smaller than Rebel, but um, uh, games played every two weeks, so it's not every one week. Um, it was originally set up as like a dad league, so it's for uh, dads who can't really commit to um, playing uh, once a week um, so it's a little bit more relaxed in that sense um, lots of fun lots of good coaches um, some of whom you will have actually played in our stupid side league so <laughs> yeah I'll, uh, I'll pop you the link over get some more blood bowl in there Yeah, absolutely. Discord me. I'll send you a link over to the Discord and you can sign up for the next season. Um, this is relatively early on in the season, so it might be a little while, but there is a spin league there and um, various other things. They have uh, 
a coronavirus tournament coming up very very soon as well um, and a bunch of other stuff so this is probably going to be a really horrible second half but um, with some of the players I've got off the pitch I'm not that upset about it <laughs> hopefully the rest of them can kind of ride it out I'm expecting to see the ogre get fouled though so that's going to be unpleasant Okay, high kick, not ideal. It's gonna make defending more difficult. Because he will just Yeah, stick a whole bow under it. And maybe try and hand off to one of the bulls. But I would expect those bulls to come whipping down here and becoming scoring threats straight away. While the blockers try and mince my ogre. And maybe a piling on no. this point I find it very difficult to believe that I can score but stranger things have happened okay here comes the blitz again I prefer being blitzed from these bull centaurs except when that happens <laughs> See, my my defence here is crumbling somewhat. This should be a pretty quick score for him. It was only a KO though, so that is not the worst thing ever. Push. Yeah, he's going. He's gunning for the ogre here. Could be a piling on here as well. Okay, go. I don't really want to stand firm in the middle of a whole bunch of chorfs. This way. Nope. No joy. Okay. That's unfortunate. All right. So, desperate times call for desperate measures here. has failed me. Uh, follow that. No. Okay. 
Well, because this is essentially about damage limitation at this point. I really can't see me even getting that ball, let alone scoring with it. Especially because that failed dodge means that Mill Ripper can move in on these guys as well. Which turns this into just a bit of a punishment beating. Goes for me balked thrower, who we are expecting to die at some point. But he dodges. Just push. Well, no, there isn't going to be a blitz, actually, is there? It does open up for a hit on Mannheim Savage, however. Which could be messy. Oh, armor break. KO again. <laughs> so many KOs. <laughs> like, look at that. <laughs> Five KOs. Right, I suppose you run him down now. He'll stall out and score on turn 16, because it'd be crazy not to, frankly. Skulls it. Hmm. Burns the reroll. Just a stun that time. Okay. I literally have no players in position to really do much though. I suppose I can run around and red die or something, but. Anywhere he goes, he's likely to get chorfed to death. Push. Jubbly jubbly. Okay. Now, unfortunately, he's got two very nasty chorfs sitting pretty there, capable of three nasty chores, capable of intervening and whacking the ogre over. Um, so in thick skull we trust. 
or in failing something twice, we trust. Or in failing a dodge, we trust. Which he does not do, unfortunately. Okay. Might be time for the holy red dice of the Lord. Taking a free hit on the ogre that I've just given him, but um, we'll see. He can still just pound all of my players into the dirt here, so. It's giving me a red die hit, right? Back to the moment. That was less so. That's very much less so. That's a donk. So he's negating the red die hit here. Oh, Another just a push. Oh wait, yeah, block. Duh. Oh. Pushes him back behind. I can live with that. So, here's what we do. The spicy play. Now you got an ogre up holding your face. No, not, not on your life, mate. There's El Dojo, that's fine. Now, he should be able to clear this relatively easily, but it was about all I could do. He's going to have to pile all his players in there. And if that is the case, I will red die him again next turn. And hope and pray that I actually have some players left with a possibility of recovery. Or that he fails a dodge or something, who knows. Okay, they come. Okay, so he's going to try and pop the ball carry free doing that. That makes sense. 
Um, I think we stand firm. Don't give him the option. Skulls it. Just a push. Into the field full of hobgoblins. Dodges. Trying to love it. <coughs> okay. So this is where it all gets a bit silly. Right, so we can see a hit here. And then does it try and dodge off? Yep. Now he'll follow that. I'll try to dodge off now. Ooh, no, goes to the Leo okay. gets it. And uh, stand there. Deep ball carrier foul here. You just run away, surely. Be the readiest of red die hits. Uh, stand you up. Stand you up because you're just going to get fouled otherwise. And if I'm going to have to three die, I'm going to have to three die red dice it. Really, aren't I? Yeah. Stand you up. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, that was um, unexpected and kind of ridiculous. So we're playing no reroll Blood Bowl here, um, and I have a grand total of one, two, three, four, five players. Um, do not use. Because if I have to use the Ogre as a scoring threat, I will. But the chances are he's probably going off the field in a second. Yep. Just a stun, that's actually really good. Um, <clears throat> if you take the foul there and it goes wrong, then you're giving me a free hit on the ball. Push. Ow. 
No three dime magic this turn then. Or is there? I mean, there's a very obvious blitz in here. Blitz. Yeah. That's probably it. With Caspar down, I don't think I can actually get over to get a hit on the ball here now. You just move him there to make it academic, I guess. Oh, maybe he's going to go for the pass. Do -do 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 -do. Um, yeah, actually, he's just going to run him into there so that he's safe, I guess. Maybe another push. That gives him a really, really well orchestrated foul on here with the dirty player. But it doesn't look like he's going to go for it. Okay. Secures it, that's probably the victory for him. Or maybe not. over. Oh well, that was probably it. That was my last real throw of the dice, I think. Just to try and interfere with the tackle zone for at least a turn. Um. is somehow still on his feet, which is insane. Alas, if he might, if he had succeeded, perhaps he could have picked up next turn and then bombed it up the pitch to Gorman, but uh, it doesn't look like that's going to happen now, unfortunately. Um, especially not like that. comes the foul maybe <laughs> on the anchor of the thought <laughs> skulls it oh my god I still don't really see what I could actually do about this now, but um, <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, you got to laugh, haven't you? It's just, uh, it's, it's not going to be my day. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could have stood him up, but the hope would have been that I could have shot him out of the way and then run him down a bit further and then stood him up. He would have got blitzed off and they would have scored anyway, but, you know, it was what it was. I mean, he's got another turn to pick the ball up and try and flick it off to the ogre, I guess, and to the bull centaur and then recover it next turn, but we'll see. Um, Gorman's luck runs out. He'll probably die now. No. Oh, just KO. Uh, with these dice I could draw, it's it's actually true. These dice have been pretty ridiculous this second half. Um, considering considering all the nonsense that's gone on, it's been fairly entertaining. He's probably going to pick it up without any trouble whatsoever, though. No, he doesn't. So, he's going to have to pick it up with a hobo now, surely. Um, just, I don't really think there is anything I can do here to stop this, short of just doing something completely mental and getting really lucky. Like, we've got red dies all over the place. I mean, that's a 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus. Um, 3 plus, 3 plus, to, to accomplish pretty much nothing. Um, I guess we just do this. I mean, that's a very dead player, essentially, but I'm not really sure what else I could have done. So, what do we go? Let's see, 3 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus, 4 plus. Or we go, what? 3 plus in there. Um. Four plus four plus four plus to get to there. Oh, fuck it, let's do that. <laughs> yeah, so I suppose there might be like another double skulls or something, but um What you do, just swamp. I mean, this is the niggled thrower as well, so pretty much any hit on him is probably going to kill him. So <laughs> I mean, he's he's got one re-roll for the pickup, and that's it. I mean, there's a there's a yeah. I mean, there we go. But I mean, he's got the hob with safe hands. I mean, that's pretty much all he can do, isn't it? Use the the hob with safe hands with the with free re-roll to try and score and win the game. Um, and if he fails the pickup, that's it. Like on a three plus here, and he gets it. There we go. Fair result, very fair result. I'm not going to complain about that. That could have been much worse. I think that second half, despite being completely under the cosh, um, I managed to frustrate him a lot. There was some fun and games in there as well. Um, I'm just trying to get these hideous teams out of the way. I've got horrible chaos teams to play next. Um, <laughs> get four players back. Um, I guess we just take my hits now. Um, so, yeah, I think I've got as many players on the pitch now as I had at the start of that drive. So, yeah. I suppose there could be a riot or something, but even if there is, I just can't see myself scoring. We will see. I'll shove everyone up on the line and hope for the best. I guess he's playing in case there is a, light, a riot or something, but um, we'll see.
he's got a play with kick as well, so that just means that it's likely to be academic here. But um, we'll, we'll see. We will see. This is setting it up for the insane attempt at a draw. Um, on the off chance that there's a riot, I guess. Which seems highly unlikely. Or a blitz, I guess. No, just brilliant coaching. That's it. That is the GG's. Would have been nice of it for them to hit, actually, but never mind. Um, and he'll bonehead just to end the game, of course. Because why wouldn't he? Bouncy, bouncy. I guess we'll just do a vanity pass then. Red die, come on, red die wrestle. Oh, red die push. Shit thing, I guess. <laughs> Screw it, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's risk it for a biscuit. <laughs> okay. The end, I guess. Uh, let's just do this. Let's not do the GFI. <laughs> Let's just do a little snaky run. There we go. So no SBP in that game, really. No um, forward progress with the team, but I survived it, and I survived it with a single MNG, and it was on a player that I'm kind of glad is not going to be in the next game. So I'm not going to complain too much. Um, I can buy a lineman to replace him with. Uh, Kepler actually levels up because he gets the MVP, so that isn't actually the worst thing in the world. Um, we got a couple on Dugbert as well, so let's just confirm that. And then let's see what we get for Kepler um, when it's confirmed. So, yeah, there we go. That is the confirmation that we wanted. Um, so Kepler should have leveled. Yep, there we go. Kepler is upper level. Let's see what we get. Just a four. So, um, I don't know. There's a few things that I was thinking would be nice. Sidestep would be pretty good. I think, because he's a blodger, so blodge step would be fantastic. Um, so I think we're going to go with blodge step on him, just to make him even more annoying. Um, so blodge step with diving catch as well. Um, that makes him fairly dangerous, I would say. Um, we are down quite a few. We are down a player for the next game. Um, I do have a sub, but the sub is a second thrower, so I think I'm going to have to pick up another lineman just to fill the gap, because um, I want someone who is going to be stronger, um, and I still want someone on the bench, so I don't have to use both throwers in the same turn, and I still have a thrower um, going in. Unfortunately, that means that Kepler is going to be a horrible target for those Chaos players next game. So I'm going to pick up a lineman now. We will call him... Um, Ch 
Chumley. Goblin donk. <laughs> That'll do. Chumley goblin donk. And so give him a different head because I think we've used that one like three times. So yeah, not the greatest result, but not the worst either. Um, like I said, these these games are pretty hideous. The next team that I have to play are really scary. Um, they are a chaos team who I will very briefly show you before I jump off. Um, this is Division 1, as you can see. I never actually expected this team to get that far. Um, so it is the Greenhorns. They are horrible. They do have a Minotaur, which I disapprove of somewhat. But uh, as you can see, we have two Claw Mighty Blow players with block as well. So those Chaos Warriors are terrifying. We have a Blodge Chaos Warrior. The Minotaur has block, which mitigates some of its drag factor. However, it does mean that all of these Beastmen are very unleveled. So with the exception of the ball carrier in this guy with block here, these guys are probably just going to be more used to enhance the hits of these other guys. It's a very dimmy like team, shall we say. They're very heavily bash orientated. Um, and I fancy Dugbutt's chances against Augury as well. Um, but these claws do scare me, so if I get the opportunity I'm going to be fouling those. Um, I am going in TV down, I think. Yeah, I'm going in TV down, 120k to play with, I think. Um, I don't know if these guys have played actually on their uh, match this round. Um, I'm not sure, so I think we'd have to... Uh, they have played, yeah. So that's I'm going to be going in 120 down, so I'm going to be able to pick up a bribe. So that is the one saving grace there. So the next game is perfectly doable. It's just going to be incredibly tough. Um, so thank you all for joining me. Uh, Troy, I will send you that link. Um, and I should be on again in a couple of days for the next game. So I will catch you all later.